This is literally the only way I put my hair up for in the gym to work out now. So I'm gonna show you because it's not like, there's a, there's a trick to it so that it doesn't get super slouchy. I didn't realize that this was gonna be as not intuitive as it is, but then my aunt ordered one and she sent me a picture of how slouchy it was turning out. It was like, help. And I was like, oh my God, I'll help you. I'll make you a video. So Janie, this is for you. They're called the puff cuff. And the whole idea is that for me, they don't leave a little ring in my hair. Um, and they also don't give me a headache because they're not as tight. So I start by putting my hair like all wound up like that, okay? And then I like this size, but there's a whole bunch of different sizes and you do have to get like the right size for the amount of hair that you have. Now, once you have your hair like this, okay? You want the little like clippy things to go into your head like that, not like that. At least on my hair, I have found that this is gonna create a more secure pony. If I clip it in the front like that, I'm not gonna be able to get it tight here, which is gonna help it pull forward. So I like to put the hinge in the front. So I've got it all twisted. I'm just working out so it doesn't have to look perfect. Then I hook it and I'm trying to get those little like teeth to really bite into my hair. Pull it forward and then I'm going to clip it at the back Get all that hair in there. There you go, okay? It is not going to be the tightest high pony ever, but it doesn't give me a headache and it doesn't leave a line or a crease in my hair. So it's really great for just like, I don't know, not totally ruining your wavier curly hair. I don't know. It's linked to my body, you can check it out.